DJ Sharp MC. Lie, 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 lie. Back on the track. So there's a couple things that uh, I've been messing with, and I thought I'd make a quick close-up video because some of them are kind of cool. The first one is uh, using the mother ducker, and I think I can do it with just these here. So I took the sound that I want to use to uh, duck the other sound, or to be the input, and I have it on... I have it right here. Okay, so Mother Ducker, I went to the Air Prof the Professional Akai on Dynamics, went to Mother Ducker Input, selected it. Okay, so this is the input here, and I put it on bus one. There's the uh, eight buses, I put it on bus one, and then I went to Thing that I want to get duck, which was the kick, the kick up high or the kick up low. I think it's the kick low. This kick. Where's the kick? Okay, so it's these two here. Program file. So then I went here, and I picked dynamics, mother ducker, output. And I selected bus one, and I have the setting, so we'll watch it now. So right now, that's ducking this one. I hope it's not too loud. It's loud on my monitor. But anyway, so that's the ducking. I don't know if I can really hear it. Okay, so let's try, we have two kicks, we have this one, and we have this one, so let's switch to the second one, this one, and see how it sounds. You can hear it duck it. So let's try changing the value. Ratio. Oh yeah, cutting it out more. Go completely out. All right. So that's that one. Release. I like better with short release. Hey, what about the gain? So, and not only did I duck this one, I ducked this key with that same bus, but I also ducked this key with the same bus. It just doesn't occur that often, so you don't really, you can't really hear the sound that well. So anyway, so that was my mother ducking. Um, Next, I was going to do, let's see what else we got. Oh, I was going to do the next thing, which is I was building a beat, and I think it's this one. Yeah, it was this one. So I have a kit that I loaded, and I loaded the pattern to it. And it's all on one track. So I thought it would be a good chance for me to show exploding the track into the separate sound. So all the sounds are on one track because I copied them in from the presets. Now I'm going to go through, take this one that I have, and I'm going to, where is it at? It's not there. It's here. Explode. So I exploded it. I don't know where I exploded it. 
quote here to quote the new speaking. Track one. Oh, I was doing the wrong track. Did I do the wrong track? Track one. Oh yeah, I did the wrong track. Ha ha ha. I exploded the explode track, which didn't have anything on it. So now we're going to explode the track with the sounds on it, which I think is this one. Yep. Okay, so here we got the track. Come near. Explode. So now it exploded it out. So first let's turn off the first track. Turn on the first track. That's everything. And then here's the separate pieces. So anyway, that's how to explode it. Explode uh, when you copy up a sequence over and it's all on one track. All right, so that's that. Uh, the next thing I was going to work on was trying like a plug-in. Why is my plug-in not making any channels? Let's go to, I thought I already set up a MIDI idea. So I wanted to go through and do a quick little check on this. So there's all our sounds. Let's do basic. Um, we don't do basic chorus. Yeah, because I want to show some effects on it. So let's try, let's try chorus one. And then put it on notes. on half level so the progressions don't make too many sounds I downloaded you know all those progressions from the Guitar Paradise so I got plenty of alternative uh, chords uh, let's try this one I haven't I've played with a lot of the different chords. All right, go up one. That doesn't sound very rich. Let's go to how about? Oh, I wonder what this one sounds like. All right, let's try that. Okay. All right, so I wanted to get some sounds and then go into program edit and just do some adjustments. Sounded pretty unique. All 
All right. I think that's pretty good right there. Now, um, since we got that done and we're still just doing demo stuff, let's uh, put a beat on it. See if I can drop a beat really fast. I don't know if I can, but we'll just do something real quick just to round out the video. Uh, maybe we'll do a hat here. This is actually a close-up video, and I was trying to show stuff close up. So. Sounds kind of cool. Kind of want to go longer though. Try different shapes. All right, let's. Nice little bass. I have no idea how we're going to round this out, but I guess we're going to figure something out pretty quick. Going to load any instruments? I didn't load any instruments. Let's load one instrument and then we'll call it a day for this close-up video since I really just want to show you some of that other stuff that we're going to need. Uh, who wants to be the lead today? Nope. I wonder if I could... All right, I didn't know if I could make the vibes work, so let's see if we can figure out how to get these vibes to work. Oops, I wasn't supposed to change my bass program. This was supposed to be... Oh, no, I don't remember what it was. Uh, was it this kit? Yeah, it was this kit. So that's it there. Sounds kind of low, too. All right. Oh, while I'm at it, I think I'll put an effect on that guy. That way it'll sound a little bit more. Uh, can't really hear it. It's pumping it. Well, I guess if we play with the other ones, maybe we can hear it. Oh, 
I got to figure out how to make this work. All right, first we'll do it. We'll do it blind. All right. Anyway, that's how I like to build beats, personally. That was done. Sharp MC. Peace.